Hey, this is a little video to tell you about the new album that Circles is releasing Tuesday, October 11th at the Jazz Bistro. So it will be Circles fourth album. It was their first one, which was I think 2007. And then we released I Understand in 2008. And then Autumn Dance came out in 2011. And I don't have the new album to show you because they are literally manufacturing it as I speak. So let me tell you a little bit about it. It's called This Troubled Land, and uh, it takes its inspiration from the city that we live in, Toronto. So each of the 10 tracks on the album is inspired by a different event from Toronto's history. So. For example, it starts with the founding of the British Fort. And there's a song about uh, when Honest Ed's opened. And... Honest Ed is never right, his bargains are never left. Honest Ed is never right. There's a song about. Uh, a rebellion that took place in 1837. Canada will yet be free. And there's a song about amalgamation. And there's some other songs too about other things, but I'm not going to tell you them all because it's spoilers. I also think the show is going to be really fun. There's a lot of great musicians that are going to be on the bill that night. We've got Alex Tate and Alex Samaras singing, uh, Neil Whitford and Tom Fleming on guitar, Chris Prudence on keyboard, uh, Hyun Lee also plays on the album, but he lives in Korea now, so uh, we're going to miss him. Uh, but we do have Mac Longpre on drums, and uh, yours truly, I will be playing bass. Uh, and the evening is also going to be Spectrum's season launch party. So the whole Spectrum crew is going to be there. And before the music starts, we're going to do a presentation and tell you all about all the amazing shows that Spectrum is going to bring to you in their 2016-2017 season. So I really hope that you'll join us October 11th at the Jazz Bistro. I'm really proud of this album and I'm excited to share it with everybody. Uh, covers just $10.00. And for a limited time only, with your admission, you can get the CD for just five bucks. So, how about that? I think that's a deal that even Honest Ed's would be proud of. Honest Ed is repulsive, his bargains are appealing. Honest Ed is repulsive, his bargains are appealing.